one, the only Maytar coming to us live from Inglewood, Los Angeles, California. Itai, Hagai, Richard, welcome to the music train. Yeah. You know, what's I've that? Be here. That was incredible. I'm hey. I'm again back in Los Angeles when we used to play the musical circuit together, and I've been I've been brought back there, and I think I'm just gonna have to move back to Los Angeles because uh that was incredible. Uh, welcome everybody to the music train. I'm your host, Fessy Mink. This is episode two of season three. We are live with Maytar in the studio. And I just want to give a big up to Metaverse Generation and my co-founding partner, Mr. BK Han, for all that he does and Metaverse Generation does to support music, tech, unlock, connect, create. This is where we do it every week, music train, 8 p.m. Eastern. Welcome to the music train, Maytar. You know, uh, you've got a new uh, record coming out called Love Dub and the Abstract One Drop. What a right. title. I'm uh, going to put you on solo here and you'll hear me, but I just want everybody to see you. Here we go. Right. Um, hey, guys. This is Hagai. Hey, guys. This is Itai. Richie over here. Hey, we would like to play another number for you. For you from uh, Love Dub and the Abstract One Drop. The last one was called uh, Energy to the Bones, or Bones. Love this it. One, yeah, is that okay, Vess? Love I love it. Yes, please, take, take it over, man. This is insane. Everybody, <laughs> uh, definitely share the space, retweet it, share it on all your socials, invite your friends, check out Mates Are Live in the studio. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, yeah.
train the absolutely brilliant Maytar. I'm just incredibly blessed right now to be witnessing this brilliance from these three gentlemen. Their music is worldwide. They've created a new genre, world groove, eclectic, building on urban crawl, abstract one drop, new world groove, tone poems, and meditative soundscape styles. Hagai, Tai, and Richard, thank you so much for being here. I know you guys are going to want to set up the camera because we're going to want to get a little bit closer to you if possible. And I'm just going to play this week's sponsor, uh, Hardestry, who's doing a songwriting session every Monday with new artists. And uh, we're just super excited about that. On Monday, the 31st of this month, you will find the one the only let's get it started web three in a different light it's web three in a different light web three in a different light you can do it if you do it right Three in a different light, you gotta stand strong and put up a fight. Web three in a different light, and you can be anything that you like. Web three in a different light, web three in a different light. And web three, look what we can be. A little loving is all we need, and web three.
How guy is back at the piano. I mean, you know, I don't think you guys have ever stopped making music, not once, which is why you're so freaking great at it. Thank you again, Matar, for being here. Thank you, dear. Well, you, you know how it is when you walk around and you have music in your mind, in your heart, in your whole body, 24 seven. Um, it's just the way it is, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you guys really uh, are champions of creating scenes. I, I, I'm i definitely, uh, I witnessed that happening. Every time I heard you play in Los Angeles, uh, from the Viper Room to the Temple Bar, to the House of Blues, to the Foundation Room, to the outside events, the festivals that took place, Maytar has always changed the air in the room. Uh -huh. tell, me, tell me more about that. How did you... How did you become Maytar? I, I know that uh, the brothers, Itai and Haggai, you know, your weekly music sessions at your grandfather's table in Israel. I mean, that's like, a, that's a seed that was planted early on. Can you tell me more? Uh, <laughs> certain way, I would love to hear your perspective first, in a way, because mm. even though we've been know each other forever, since we were little kids, um, I feel strongly that Richie is actually the one that completed. Aww. Know, <laughs> in a way. This is really putting me on the spot, Bessie. But mm -hmm. I met these brothers um, sort of one at, one at a time. And then eventually I got to play with them. But, you know, it's like stepping into a stream that's flowing so verdantly and so completely. Stepping into it was to me a little a little bit scary because it was it felt like some really deep water but because they're such kind souls and patient um they they allowed me the freedom to to come in and just kind of stumble into the music and and find my voice in their music so i feel really blessed knowing these guys and having um the the opportunity and the allowance to play with them. So that's where I'm at. I'm, and I'm, I'm still enjoying that, that sort of magical thing that's happening. Um, and, and it's only getting better and better. We're playing more and more and there's more intuition happening, more freedom. And, and uh, I mean, trans, transcending cultural boundaries. I mean, ultimately you just encapsulated what that actually is. I mean, from your music, um, communities in the Arab, Israeli, Muslim, Christian, and Buddhist under the banner of Harmony. I mean, who doesn't want to actually hear that band? I think everybody needs to hear that band. Thank you so much. You know, Bessie, we, uh, first of all, we, we really remember so fondly all the fun times we had together and all the great shows we played together. How, how what an amazing artist you are. Oh, thank you. We reconnect with you. Um, you know, we, we've been really making music since we were kids as, as brothers, both, both in our families and our respective things and we i think we discovered at some point that we, our, our instruments is kind of like um they're like a divining rods into the ineffable if you will you know we kind of have direct transmissions that come to us through our instruments we really just allow ourselves to be really present and really listen and so we started developing the idea that you know we can sit down and write you full charts symphonies and all that kind of stuff but we decided instead of trying to control everything that everybody does simply to let go and simply be completely present and be um, loving, respectful, and accepting of what each other does. So in other words, we can't really play a wrong note because any note that you play, we have a way of contextualizing the way they will sound good. And that takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of dedication. It takes a lot of uh, commitment. Yes, and you're an Itai. I mean, you're a, you're a celebrated like bass player of the year. I mean, like back in the day, I mean, <laughs> What, what did that feel like to get that title? I mean, bass player of the year. I mean, and, and but beyond bass, like, I mean, I hear Jimi Hendrix. I hear guitar. I mean, you're like a lead guitar. I mean, yeah. clearly, Itai's bass playing is like crossing the genre into the like guitar and 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 all the notes of, of all instruments. I hear it. Well, thank you. I mean, one of the things that we really tried to do is really like, as we said, we love so many things, you know, mm -hmm. I love Ellington, I love Jimi Hendrix, I love Bob Marley, and I love, uh, the, you know, Beethoven, you know, I love Fela Kuti, and I love, you know, a guy. You know? <laughs> yes. So the idea is not like to be, you know, well, I'm a bass player, and I will play this, you know, right? because I, I like James Jamerson, I like Jaco, I like Hendrix, I like Victor, I like, but at the end of the day, they already did their thing. I don't care. We don't care to be the second anybody. We care to be the first one. So 
we want to be, this is the first Haggai, this is the first Richie, this is the first Itai, and we want to create a sound that will, because what we believe is that we, if we play it in a certain way, if we play our, our music with love mm -hmm. and with respect and feeling, if you hear it, we don't need to explain it. You're going to feel it in the music. It's a devotion that can't be described with words. It's yeah. your devotion to music. And it's all, I've always felt that in your presence. And I think, you know, um, Haggai, I mean, like, I hear you and I, I'm just like thinking of all the great, uh, all the great trumpet players I've heard in my life, all the famous ones, but you are Haggai and there's something different that you do. I mean, you have this, like, you have this elaborate setup, like for all these sounds. I mean, what you're doing, it's like you're entering different, like, portals with your with your horn i mean like please how how did you start uh dialing in that sound and do you remember the first time like the first the first uh pedal that you got and like what was that like <laughs> um let me tell you a dream a dream <laughs> okay when i was a little kid i and i remember this dream dream all the time it's in my uh consciousness mm -hmm. and i saw myself on stage i saw the lights i saw that but beyond all of that i clearly heard music that was at once uh melodic and it had groove to it and it had harmony to it and it had but the main thing about it it was so different it was something that had no, you can't really describe it in words. It's like, you know, all the great say, you know, it's like, you, mm -hmm. you have to, you have to be there. Mm -hmm. And so, um, it's like God, God is in the room. I yeah. think I've heard them say Quincy yeah. Jones. So, uh, she's always in the room. She, I love it. <laughs> yeah. That's a rare thing. We don't hear often that God, uh, God could be female. Could she? Yeah. But anyway, to, so the, directly to your question, I mean, I all my life I've been working to develop my sound, my tone, and um, you know, we didn't yet play any other toys that that we have that I have here. But sure. I have I have um, I developed passion for many different sounds and tonality. I guess that's my ADHD. Is it just like I have to have a lot of different things? Feel free to grab. I mean, would you like to share some of what you have over there? I'm, I might in a second do a little tour of the studio, but what I'm saying is that, um, so my first pedal was a little boss pedal I think I got from Itai, mm -hmm. and I went to gigs and tried to hook it up with a microphone. It, you know, that crap never works. <laughs> Throughout the years, I figured out, and it's it's always dynamic, but I figured out a way to, um, and I, I'd be happy to do a tour of my, my pedal board. Uh, <laughs> But through companies develop uh, ways to take microphone and and convert the signal so you can use guitar pedals because all the pedals are designed for guitars really mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and take the signal and I have this mixing unit here that allows me to feed anything to anything at any time so I can create it's amazing uh, I can create different sounds and different loops that goes on. What what was the title? Sorry to interrupt. The title for the you did the love dub and the abstract one drop your record. But what was the title of that song? Because that hook in there was just like infectious. What what what's that title? Is that the title of the song? Second one that we played. Yes. It's called Futna. Sorry, what? It's called Futna. Futna. How, how do you spell, spell F U with the two dots over it? TNA, Futna, and it's actually, believe it or not, dedicated to one of our cats that lived to be 22 years old. I love that. I love that. It's very, uh, th that hook in there, you know, I think that that's something you're playing, correct, Haggai? That, that's something that you created? Well, actually, th th so this is one of the things we're ha happy about, and as we listen to our record, yeah, we'll all about that, sometimes we don't even know <laughs> who's what. In this case, the, the hooky stuff is... Uh, loops that Itai creates with overtones and, and reverse things, all kinds of secrets that we cannot reveal at this okay. time. But, but one thing that we will reveal is we never use tracks. We don't use tracks. We don't use pre-recorded loops. Everything you hear, we do it on the spot in front of you. So That's it's not, live. That wasn't any live. Loop. But I'm saying some people play live and they play a lot of tracks with it. There are no tracks. They are looping, but everything that you hear is done live looping, you know. That's and, amazing. Very important for me to say is that, you know, we, I mean, you've met us mm -hmm. 
years ago, which, and again, you, you're always in my heart and in my mind, you're fantastic. Same. Oh, thank you. I love you. <laughs> and, and we played, we had the fortunate of playing with many great drummers and many great, you know, musicians. Yeah. People always come to us and say, hey, don't you need a guitar player? I keep on playing. No. <laughs> and when we met Richie, which was 10, maybe 11 years ago, mm -hmm. um, that was the, the turning point. That was the point in which, because what you brought to us is stuff that both spiritually, emotionally, and, and musically is something that is so profound and connected with us in so many different levels that it was, okay. The missing piece. Yeah, yeah, a and, brother from another mother. Yeah, right on, right on. Uh, should we get into the yard? I have the yard here. What do you guys think? At the wit's end. So that's from a club that uh, we played and then we got burned down. Oh my goodness. The show was so hot, people burned down the club. <laughs> wait, wait, literally this was the last show before the club burned down? Not quite, but the myth is good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you heard it here first, you guys. Maytar at the Wits End in um, Venice, correct? In Venice. That's the best you found, baby. Here we go, here we go, here we go.
find you uh through the link tree at the bottom that's uh l-i-n-k-t-r dot e -E forward slash matar m-a-e-t-a-r yeah. and and so what's next for you guys you did just have a big show i yeah. believe in topanga canyon what was that like oh that was insane Messi. i don't know if you remember if you got to play the, the corazon it's a really beautiful cultural center there that has uh just the full topanga vibe but it's a nice room the room was packed standing room only people nice busy. we did stuff you know when when we go live and we start playing and we get into the excitement of the music and people go nuts we just go even further so it was a <laughs> great show do we have footage do we have footage is there some footage um, that we're gonna get to know, i may have sent you uh some stuff that that uh, we have footage some, uh, but the, the, the i think the the the, 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 the the sound is not that great okay i can send you some um some iphone uh, shots are pretty good. I think I may have. And for oh. the future, I'd just like to extend, you know, Music Train as a platform for when you go live to just stream it live through the platform. We can set it up anytime. And uh, right. sure, our next for, our next show for sure. And you, you uh, speaking of the link tree, I really want people to go to our Instagram page. Okay. It's music. Is the link the link is in there, right? For the principal? yes, because yeah. our genius link drummer trees. here created uh, on earthly collection of incredible music videos that are unlike anything else so that's incredible and are you going to create digital assets beyond instagram and make them available as uh you know the big word on the street is always uh digital assets and nfts and yes. yeah, thing and that's part of the plan yes because we have the, the the rich in fact i think all of richie's uh videos they're really they're about they're a minute long, so he's diving, he's diving to the stream of my tar and picks like nuggets from there and just create these incredible videos. And we were going to make them all at NFTs originally because they're on that level. But then we said, you know, let's actually give, let's share it with everybody, let's everybody have it. And then we'll have a few special ones that will be, you know. Wonderful. And, and, I, know, and I know you you told me about your whole NFT thing, so we're going to talk to, uh, talk about that. And it's, But that's one of the things that uh, we're going to... Uh, discuss and work with our label you know we got signed to rope it up records what a, what a label too i mean that's modesky martin yeah. and wood right and like Marky Poppy, modesky martin wood you know jumbled into kuma i mean great people when did that happen congratulations that's huge uh shout out to lewis yeah. marks lewis uh, marks and people all the people in rope dope and all our sister bands on rope dope right uh, on that a few weeks ago, I don't know, a few months ago, actually, and our record is going to come, uh, Love Dub and the Abstract One Drop. It's really a decade of work. It sounds like a movie and a documentary all in one, and I hope that that's also in the works because yeah. your legacy is huge. I mean... Thank you. Yeah. Well, what are we going to do? It's funny, but, you know, we we are purposefully avoiding any kind of commercial consideration on purpose. Mm -hmm. One of the things, our original concepts were this. We just going to play free. We're going to create our sound. We're going to record everything, and out of this, we're going to kind of call out what's what's what, what's coherent. It came out to be that we have about we call them strings. You know, we're basically we have like seven strings. Each of them, you can we have about full on five or six records of each style. One of them is like complete meditation, just chill, beautiful. One is really hard. One is kind of Afrobeat. One is cool. like kind of abstract one drop stuff. One is loved out. It's it's insane. The, the thing was like like t 10 records. Yes. So, you know, it's probably going to be a little hard to come this off the gate. So we took all those and out of those created Loved Up and Abstract One Drop, which is kind of distillation of all that stuff. Um, it's, it's an amazing journey. And we, you, oh, go ahead, Richie. Harvested these epic jams so we could fit it into a, a framework that, that a record company might be able to you know, hand to the to the uh, listener. And, and my guess is they came to you because how could they not? 
You know, the, it was a great story because it did to tell him. Well, I mean, they basically, well, you know. <laughs> it was so, I mean, it was basically, we have, you know, our, our, our manager uh, took it to them. He played, <laughs> she, she played him three songs. He called us. And he was like, he's talking to us like, like, not do you want to sign? Like he talks about, okay, so as we do this, as we move forward, we do this, and we're like, wait, I, I did you just sign us? <laughs> <laughs> but it was really like that, like really, it's like he heard you those know, songs, boom, you guys are like. Remind you know? me of, 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 they remind me of a story that Ben Riley, the great drummer that used to play with Monk, oh. goes, uh, do you have a passport? <laughs> he comes to him on a gig and he goes, do you have a passport? He goes, yeah, so good, because we're flying to Japan tomorrow. That's how you put in the band. <laughs> so That's it, man. They, and so, they and have one, to have you. One important thing that I want to echo what Richie and Itai said about this record that we are so proud of, and, so, uh, and we see it in our shows now, yes. is the fact that I think there are three tracks on this whole compilation that we recorded in our studio. In my mm -hmm. studio, we did some... You know, we played, and then we got everything else. Now, 93% of the record are all things that were played, direct transmissions. They were played once. Amazing. We, I mean, we, we play them again. Now there are songs, but. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I get it, I get it. They, they came to us in the moment, and that direct was it. Direct transmissions, so, what a perfect way to, like, yeah, yeah. that's exactly it, you guys. And you know, like if you hear, if you know, we probably can get to play it for you. But like, there will be a jam that will start, will start really mellow. It goes Afrobeat. It goes really hard. And at the very end of it, there will be this like beautiful. Maybe we can play that. It'll be like this beautiful, heart wrenching, this kind of ballad that sounds like we wrote it. It's got bridge, chorus, but and it's all made up on the spot, you know. And I these love that. Moments are just like they, they set up us. You know, they're like, they're the jewels because I mean it's all the jewels. The whole journey getting to that space where you're actually able to um yeah, yeah. just you just let you just bear down your soul. I yeah. I totally get it. Speaking of which, I don't know if I shared with you guys, Matar, but uh, the concept of the music train was born on Connect Club with Mr. BK Han, my co-founding partner. Big up again to Metaverse Generation for making the music train happen. Season three, episode two with Maytar in the house. I want to thank you guys again for being here. I have to write a song with one word from each of you because that's what we do every show. And then I would love it if you'd close out the show with a live set. Please say Absolutely. it. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, on the spot. I love the direct transmission. Let's see if I can get one. I'm sure I can because that's like my favorite thing to do. All right, oh. here we go, guys. Remember. Which is your word? Okay, my word is two words. <laughs> but only one word. It's freedom together. Freedom together? Yeah. Okay, I hope I remember all these. Let's see, freedom together. I'm just going to start recording now. Okay, we are... Are we rolling? Yeah, we're rolling. Okay, Freedom Together from Itai. That's his word. We're doing this uh, song on the spot with me, yeah. Vessie Mink, Music Train, and Maytar is in the studio for season two. I'm sorry, season three, episode two. All right, uh, Hagai, what is your one word, two word? Uh, my one, two words is uh, either letting go or let go. Maybe letting go, letting go. Letting go together, everyone. Freedom, freedom together, letting go, and Richie. Two syllables, compassion. Compassion. Okay, I have to write them down. This has never <laughs> happened. You guys have me in a, in a, in a, what do you call that? I'm too excited. Um, I'm, I'm going to write them down. <laughs> All right. So we have compassion. Next one. Letting Let, go. Letting go. And then freedom together. Freedom together. These are all book titles of your uh, lives, of your lives, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Freedom Together, Compassion. Compassion, Richie, you're gonna write a book about your life called Compassion. Yeah, um, letting Go, that's a guy's. And then uh, <laughs> Itai is Freedom Together. I like it. All right, guys, here we go. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you again, everybody, for watching and tuning in. And stick around because Maytar is gonna close us out with their amazing music that is direct transmissions from the most high to you and your heart. Don't let it go unnoticed. Don't get it twisted. You are the love. 
you wish to find. Here we go. Compassion, yeah. Freedom together. Letting go, I saw the road. Waking up in silence, making up the madness in our minds, figuring out it was all, all the plan. One world, one love, one right, human right, sentient beings, all the beings in the light. I, compassion, freedom, togetherness, it's the reason, letting go, never felt so, matars in the house, matars in the house, matars in the house. We did it. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's so good to hear your voice, Bessie. It's so good to hear your Oh, you too. Thank you. I love you guys so much, my brothers. Um, yeah. I'm going to allow you the the moment to jump back behind those instruments and allow me to like go like this with my hand because, wow, you're going to play again live for us here. This has never happened quite like this. Although we did have uh, some really amazing guests thus far, and I would really love to connect all the guests to each other. So I'm hoping you'll come back and that we can have you on with another musical guest and you can kind of just, you know, unlock, connect and create, which is the whole point of the show. And uh, thank you again to all the viewers. I'm going to allow these wonderful gentlemen to get started with their setup to take us out. Yeah, excellent. Thank all you right. again, Maitar Itai, Hagai, Richie, you guys are the best. I can't wait to give you hugs. And send, send my love to your families. Big love from Vessi. Yeah, yeah. yeah thank you. Right back at you. Thank, thank you. you. Here we go. Get the um. Take a quick camera adjustment. All right. Thank you, everybody, again for tuning into the music train. You know, we couldn't do this without you. Uh, your support means so much. Uh, and if you'd like to be on the show, you can find me everywhere at Vessi Mink. That's A. Uh, <laughs> ampersand Vessi V E S S Y M I N K on Twitter. Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok, and, you know, uh, don't forget how much the music is actually you and your participation in these amazing shows that we have. You can edit the videos and share them on YouTube. You can invite your friends to be guests on the music train. You can become an introducer and also a co-host for a special exclusive with somebody that you really want to spotlight. So definitely go for it. Your dreams are your own and they're in your hand and you really do have the power and music is the power. It's the love. And uh, don't forget you're awesome. Thanks again for tuning in to this week's Music Train Season 3, Episode 2 with Maytar. Let's see if the guys are ready. It looks like they're just about ready here. And thanks again. Here we go to Metaverse Generation and the team. You done with it? Yeah. All right, guys. Go out we'll with a medley. We're going to go out with a Maytar medley. All right. I'm putting you on solo. Bye. Wait, is, is this shot still okay? Ooh. Yes, it looks great. You look fabulous. You look fabulous. Hey, guys. Hug guy, hug guy. I love you, hug guy. Say hi to Tommy. Say hi to Lily. Richard, I'm not oh. sure. Uh, the love of your life, what, what their name is, but send them my love. And your children. Send my love to all your children. Yeah, and you know, Sheer, Sheer just got married. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Congratulations to him. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Yeah. The chords are a bit on the raise or something.